OK, Manchester United have done what was expected and they have sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. This comes after, well, three games with one goal scored. They lost 5-0 to Liverpool, they lost 2-0 to Man City and they lost yesterday 4-1 to Watford. Yes, it's been a, an interesting time under Solskjaer since he replaced Mourinho uh, on an interim basis initially and before he got his full-time contract. He has been there a while now. Um, I think, where to begin with Manchester United? Um, this is a club that doesn't seem to have a philosophy or a direction and has had some long-standing issues for quite some time. Um, this is not just a Solskjaer problem. This is not just a Mourinho problem. This is not just a Van Gaal problem. This is a long-standing decline that the club has been going through and the poor poor decisions in the transfer market and a lot of it lies with the players as well and the ownership, the Glazers. Uh, so Alex Ferguson, I think, papered over the cracks when he was manager all those years ago. This decline has been happening for over a decade. Um, it's sped up in recent years. Um, they've not been close to winning the title. Admittedly, they finished second last year in a COVID disrupted season, but they were well behind Manchester City by the time the last ball was kicked last season. They've got issues in defence, they've got issues in midfield, they're, they've got issues with, with players wanting out, um, players who are not playing at their potential for a variety of reasons. Uh, I think the transfer for Harry Maguire, uh, £85 million for the centre-back, uh, he uh, ooh, his time at, at Man United hasn't been a happy one. Pogba, well, Pogba... Uh, he spends more time on Instagram and dyeing his hair than actually focusing on what he's actually paid to do, which is play football. And Ferguson sold him once to Juventus and they brought him back. Ferguson was a good reader character. Why he came back, I have no idea. Juventus fans will tell you he is lazy as anything. He is, he's a big disruptive influence in the dressing room. Ronaldo coming back. Um, well, that's an interesting one. Hasn't really worked, has it? Um... And he can be a big ego in the dressing room as well. That's a divided dressing room. It's a divided club. The Glazers have to take a lot of responsibility for this. They, of course, they won't. All the blame gets put upon Solskjaer. But the players have to take a lot of the blame as well. You've got De Gea, who has, in the past, since Ferguson has left, has made reference to the fact he wants to leave. And his form has nosedive. His save percentage is a lot lower than other goalkeepers in the league. You've got no real commanding centre-back. There's no one leading that defence. Injuries to certain players like Luke Shaw's, they don't get a regular run in the side. Although recently when he's fit, he's played well. But this season he's not... Has there been a Euros hangover for Luke Shaw? Midfield. Um, hmm, Matic is the only one in that midfield that I would say um, consistently performs at a level. Um, but he, you know, he's getting older. He's lost a bit of pace. Van der Beek... Uh, a lot of pressure put upon a young player joining uh, a setup that isn't a happy setup. How do you expect him to develop? Lingard, when sent out online to West Ham, had a renaissance in form. He's barely been used this season on his return to Man United. I think he's going to go, not because he's a bad player, but because he's not getting any game time and he's not really fitting into whatever system is in place. Um, Rashford, he's been injured quite a bit in recent in recent seasons. Um, I think he'll stay, but. You know, when you're when you're being forced to play when you're not fully fit, it says that something is wrong with the culture at your team. Uh, he was, you know, struggling with a lot of injuries last season and was expected to carry the team on his back. So yeah, there's a lot of problems there. Um, I, I think there's going to be a major clear out in that dressing room. Um, Cavani's been a very good buy, ironically, for a free for a senior player. Edison Cavani's done very very well. It's the players around him that that haven't. Uh, and what do you expect a guy in his early 30s to really do, or mid-30s to really do? You know, he he was bought there as a backup centre-forward. He's ended up being more crucial to Man United than was initially expected. Um, so out of the team they've got, I would say Cavani, Rashford and Matic, I think, have performed the best in recent seasons. The rest of the, rest of the team is either not performing or was never fully fit. So how much is this on Solskjaer? Who comes in to replace him? There's rumours about Zinedine Zidane. I mean, 
that'll be interesting to see how that works, considering his English is limited, uh, or is a you know, and um, he couldn't deal with the egos at Real Madrid, and that was a divided dressing room, and they were winning stuff. So, God knows how he'll deal with this. I can see Pogba leaving. I can see Lingard wanting out. De Gea. How much longer does he stay as Man United's goalkeeper? He's not the best goalkeeper in Europe anymore and hasn't been for quite some time. So there's some big questions that need answering. Um, and whoever comes in is dealing with a, a, what I can only describe as a tyre fire. So there we go. Solskjaer's gone. What happens now? Please place your thoughts below and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.